Hey, buddy. Hey, everybody. It's like early in the morning on a Wednesday. Now, Harry Weinstein's wife is divorcing him. Well, technically, with all with your husband not making that much money due to Hollywood and YouTube, and the fact that he's a creepy purr did not help his case that much. I said, It was ironic. It's like people are willing to crucify Bill Cosby, but not Harry Weinstein. Yet Harry Weinstein can make your life a living heck. Or H E double hockey stick. If you say anything, it's like being a law firm. When you're working for a big lawyer and you're a female, Working at a law firm, a male-dominated business or job, you're practically at that guy's mercy. So you can't really complain. The best you can do is switch from a job. It's ironic that regular women have to go through sexual harassment from a creepy perv. But when it's a celebrity, they're heroes for talking about it. I don't claim them as heroes. A hero would have mentioned it as soon as it happened. But then again, if you're a famous actor or a Z Y W list celebrity, you're screwed. The same reason why you can't say Black Lives Matter because you can lose sponsors and not all of us are like Muhammad Ali. A lot of these people have a lot to lose. Sorry, I'm babbling. What, am I surprised that his wife divorced him? No, they have it coming? Yes. Well, technically, a guy who's who's not actually attractive, don't have a lot of money going his line of business, who just been kicked out his own crew, the Weinstein Corporation, and your perv, you don't have a lot of women running to you. Sure, his wife is a famous designer. I don't follow these celebrities that much since I don't watch TV. But you are screwed if you get divorced. Because you don't have a lot of women lined up. You're not even cute. You're a perv. And Hollywood is losing money thanks to YouTube, YouTubers. Since people could just watch movies on YouTube. So, and people like new media better than old media. YouTube is actually free for me if I pick the right stuff. Weinstein, I don't feel sorry for you. Sleep tight, you morons. You know, from. Holton Caulfield. So catching a rye. Yeah, I read that book. I really didn't like Holton Caulfield. He was pretty much a spoiled brat. It's bad when you're a female actress. You're more vulnerable. Even children actors are more vulnerable. Hold on. Because one, you're at the mercy of the person who's handling your career. Female and child actors get preyed on the most. Well, I heard Terry Crews got felt up by a producer in front of his wife, but couldn't really say anything because your crew, your career, and it's bad. I feel sorry for child actors. This person you're supposed to trust with your career and well-being is willing to fill you up or hurt you. Of course, 
Most of it is because through the greedy parents who want to pimp out their own kids for their own gain. And or negligent and naive parents who let you stay with adults. And sometimes they're greedy. You can't leave your child with a stranger and slash adult. At least get them a manager who has their uh has the best interest at heart. Harry Weinstein represents the all the managers, the directors, the producers who don't have your best interest at heart, but just want to prey on you because they know they're dependent on directors and producers. He can have you blacklisted. Unfortunately, Hollywood or Holly Weird is the type of place where all you need is an accusation and you're screwed. You don't need to have evidence. Your reputation matters. Anyway, this is M Peoples. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. Tell me what you guys think. Early in the morning. This is M Peoples. Watch my videos. The uh, Apocalypse Survival Hack. Burn Cheetos. You can actually use it for kindling. Because of carbohydrates and oil on Cheetos. It's actually flammable. That's kind of bad. But it's a survival hack. Anyway, this is M People. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. Deuces.